Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to properly light a scene with Polygon HDRs in Cinema 4D with Octane. Okay, so this is the uh, scene that we're going to be using today. Quite a simple scene. As you can see, it's just a model of a house, um, which I've assigned a sort of generic clay material to. Um, and we also have a camera in there, and that's about it. So let's jump over to that camera view and get started on our lighting. First thing I need to do is bring in a sky, like so, and then from the sky we're going to attach a Corona environment tag. Then if you go down to this little icon here, it will put in a image texture, which we can then click on and load in our uh, HDRI. Now I've got three files to choose from here, a 2K version of the EXR, a 16K version, and a 16K JPEG. Now to start off with we're going to use the 16K EXR very high file size, very good quality and high resolution and whatnot. It'll take a moment to load, there we go, and once it has we can just turn on the live viewer, hit go and we should see our scene. Okay so there we go, we have our live viewer up. Now what we can do is rotate the sky to get the lighting that we want and I personally like it right about there. Brilliant, so there's our scene lit, looks great. We have some issues though, first of all we have the problem of the file size, it's uh, really is quite large, um, it's, I've been pausing the recording on and off but basically it's, it's slowing down uh, Cinema 4D, it's that large. Uh, and also we've got the problem of the backdrop doesn't really tie in well with our scene, we've got this weird building that's, which isn't in scale with the rest of our scene. So. We, uh, we have some work to do. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to minimize this down just a little bit, get it out of our way, there we go. And I'm going to change this sky to be the lower resolution um, EXR, the 2K one. There we go. Now, You'll notice the lighting quality really hasn't changed, so we've just drastically reduced the memory usage. Um, it's had very little effect on our on our lighting, if any at all. Uh, the only real problem is the background. If we were going to be using any of the elements in the background, it's now looking quite blurry. It's very obvious that we're using a low resolution um, EXR. So what we're going to do is jump over to this tag again and you'll see that it's it's set on primary environment which is good so we're going to add in now another sky and so that will attach another environment tag and at this point I'm just going to give these names so they make sense this is our lighting sky and this one will be our backdrop now if I change this tag to be visible environment you'll see now we're still getting the lighting from that original sky. If I rotate it, you can see I'm still changing the lighting and it's having no impact on the background anymore. So let's get that back to where we liked it, which was about there. Um, and it basically means that this backdrop now, we can put in whatever we want and it will only affect the background. So in my case, I'm going to put in this 16K JPEG. Uh, change the gamma on that to 2.2 and there we go we now have a separate file providing our backdrop now you can't use a JPEG for lighting if you tried it would um, I'll demonstrate in fact <laughs> if you tried you'll notice you lose all the lighting so it's, it's now this backdrop that's lighting our scene and if I rotate it around you can see we can rotate the backdrop but if I put the lighting to the same position we're still not getting the lighting on our scene that's because a JPEG just doesn't contain the uh, the information that's required let me just change that back to visible. But using a 16K backdrop means that we can have a nice high resolution background image whilst using the 2K EXR for the lighting. So let me just rotate this around to somewhere a little different. So I'm mostly just getting sky. And there we go. That's how you uh, use a separate EXR and JPEG to light a scene in Octane. So in summary, we've downloaded some HDR files from polygon.com brought them into Cinema 4D, set up two sky environments, one 
uh, to handle our lighting via a low-resolution EXR, and the other to handle our backdrop using a high-resolution JPEG.